kind of depends on what project I'm working on. For example, if it's film, um, the music always comes from the images and the narrative of the film, or what sort of narrative and story is trying to be portrayed. I usually utilize various aspects of the film that I'm watching and derive musical content from that. For example, if it's a fight scene, I will look at the motion and the inherent rhythm of the fight, almost as if it were uh, a dance choreography. Um, if it's a more of a conversational scene with a lot of dialogue, my ultimate goal is to just not step on the dialogue and to just support that musically. Well, for concert music, I generally don't have much control over what orchestration there is. It's generally um, a collaboration between a performer and myself as a composer. And so in that aspect, sometimes it's a group of like five people or sometimes it's a soloist. However, for film, I generally derive orchestrational ideas to further enhance the color um, of, the, of the mood and the emotion in the scene. So if I'm scoring a battle scene, I generally try to leave some space in there for sound design and sound effects. For example, uh, a sound designer is a person who uh, kind of does a collage of various sounds and manipulates them so that they are perceivable as sound effects in a film. And so whenever I'm scoring a scene, sometimes I like to leave space for that. Or just silence in certain parts of the music. Sometimes it's more effective to just let a downbeat have silence. Okay, so this film is called Jerome and the Art of Sainthood. And it is um, a dedication um, from the film director, Anthony Siansolo, for his uh, friend, Jerome Chaya, who was uh, a, a very provocative painter and artist in the 1990s who passed away from AIDS. So there's a scene where Jerome is lying in bed and he is very ill and very sick and he is discussing just his childhood and homophobia and not being understood in um, where he grew up. Um, and so what I noticed when I was watching this footage for extended periods of time is that he has a very kind of musical way of talking. He has an inherent rhythm in how he says things. And so uh, whenever there is dialogue present in um, a scene, the, you have to be, a, as a composer, I like to have the utmost delicacy of not covering up that dialogue and to support it. So that's how I approached scoring that scene. A little unorthodox. A lot of this film is image set to music, where generally with filmmaking, um, it's quite the opposite. It's generally the music portrays the narrative and the story of the film. For certain scenes in this film, we will be using the music as the initial stepping stone, um, not just for um, how it leads to other parts of the film uh, visually, but also how it all connects as an overarching structure, which is really interesting and rather unorthodox.